Welcome back to the channel, welcome back to the vlog and today you join me, I am at a place I love to come to when we have got some incredibly big waves and we have some incredibly big waves. So it's going to be the last afternoon shoot there for the guys before they leave and what a send off they're going to have with these incredibly big waves here. This spot is phenomenal. I've come here a number of times before and gotten some really, really good shots, but now I want to get some more. So that's what we're going to do today. I'm only going handheld. I've got my long lens with me as well. I don't need the tripod. It's just going to be getting in the way and I want to have as fast a shutter speed as I possibly can with this action that we have here. So yeah, let's go. So right now it isn't the most optimum time because as you can see by my hood it is raining and behind me here the visibility is pretty much nothing but there are some absolutely monster waves and an area that I've come to a number of times is here and I've shot the devil's horns and with the devil's horns they are being absolutely swamped at the moment by some waves which are actually seeming as if they're bigger than it. So I'm heading down uh, the steps here now towards the beach because when you get down further towards the beach the wave action is even bigger and more immense. So yeah I think we're going to get some nice shots here but hopefully we get a break and we get a bit of light because the storm that's there now which is Storm Agnes has come in. We are kind of in the lull of it at the moment but we're going to be on the tail end of it as well when we get it later. So I'm hoping that we get a break, but yeah, I'll give you a look here now. I'll just spin you around and have a look at the waves here are crashing on my, one of my favorite subjects. So right in front, you've got the devil's horns. You might just be able to make out the shape of them, but look at the size of these waves as they're coming in here. Look at this big one now that's going to come in and it's almost going to envelop the entire devil's horns. The challenge is being able to get that in a shot because it's so flat right now and as you can see here if I pan you around the whole thing is just white water but if that clears up and we don't have which I see there's a gap there now on the horizon I show you there that hopefully will allow us to get a bit of respite from the rain but also get a bit of light so we'll be able to have some detail in these shots. So now that I'm down below here and you can see how big these waves are, they are insane and they are almost completely covering the devil's horn. So when I was here the other day there was big enough waves but they weren't anything like we have right now and that's why I love here in a storm and particularly a storm that we have at the moment. It's going to be a challenge here like I said earlier on to get the shots but I see out on the horizon we have some beautiful light and that is out behind me here. So yeah. Nigel is here, Maz is here, and Michael is up on the top, and I think it's going to be absolutely insane here today, if and always we get the light. Very similar to what I had here before was it is quite muddy and murky within the water. I've come down lower and as you can show you here that there's an awful lot of the, everything to be stirred up but over on the headland that I've gotten shots from before there's some monster waves that are breaking over against that and what I reason I came down here is because I got a bit of light so by getting the light I was able to get a faster shutter speed I would have a bit of detail in the waves and more importantly it was actually a more cleaner shot because it's quite hazy when the sun doesn't come out but you remove that haze and you start to see some detail. Now on the horizon as well I do think that I'm going to get more light so I'm going to stay down here. I'll do a bit of a video clip to give you an idea of what I'm seeing because these waves are monsters but I'm going to have some more shots anyway from here and because also by coming down lower they actually appear bigger in the screen. Now I'm zoomed in at 600 mil at the moment to maximize the closeness that I can get to this headland here and I've gotten a shot from here before which was one of my favorite shots. Hopefully today I get another as well now that becomes my new favorite. So I'll give you a look at this stuff here now check back in again if and when the light comes.
small enough waves for you? Yeah. You know, I was expecting bigger. What are we missing? <laughs> what are we missing? Yeah. Uh, Besides, obviously, you know, leprechauns and unicorns. I was going to say a beer. Beer is a good idea. Yeah, yeah. I think we'll get a well-deserved beer after this. These yeah. waves are insane, but we are missing light, yeah? It's, it's a little bit flat, which makes it challenging, I think. Um, you know, it's certainly something you can work on with a little bit of post-processing, but it would be nice to just get a bit more direct light on these waves to really, you know, sh show off all the, the sheen on the top and get some of the colors, but... And you get texture as well then, wouldn't you? Yeah, yeah, I mean, it, I think the biggest thing is you'd get more contrast and that, that sh the little bit of shine that the sunlight reflects off the waves is so beautiful. So, yeah. Okay, so will I do my uh, rain dance or a sun dance or light dance or leprechaun dance? You, could, you should do all of them. Okay, I will do all of them. <laughs> appeared there now momentarily and we managed to get I think some really yeah. nice shots as the light was just coming over onto the devil's horns here behind me. The interesting thing is is that it was here and gone just as quick and as Michael is trying to put me off which he kind of succeeded but anyhow um, <laughs> as it you know comes and gone just as quick. No I mean I think with the light that's moving around as Maz tries to do the same and um, we're going to head up and over Dunmore Head over towards the other side where you get some really gnarly foregrounds and I think that if we're getting these type of waves here they're going to be incredible on the other side we just got to be careful of the wind we're a bit sheltered from the wind down here so we don't really have much of an idea what the wind is going to be like but when we get up higher we will know more about that there is rain as well coming at the moment so hopefully we don't get absolutely pissed on but so far so good and it's been incredible I'll give you a look at these shots now and then if we make the journey up I'll check back in there So we're deciding to go up over the top of Dunmore Head, but as we're now walking over, it is starting to rain. Now I hope that we do not get bucketed down on because we are still in this storm. But nonetheless, from up here, when you look down below, it's a totally different viewpoint on the beach that we were, and there is this part where we were shooting from. Directly below me here is the Devil's Horns. Now, as we go up and over the top of this, it's going to reveal a view on the islands which is absolutely stunning plus with some great foregrounds now if you're uh, new to the channel it'll be your first time seeing it but i've been here a number of times before and those of you that would remember it will know how beautiful it actually is today however will be potentially a different thing for us to experience with this um, storm there's going to come wind and hopefully it doesn't come rain like i said but nonetheless what it is going to give us is very very big waves and a lot 
of cloud action as well. So we'll go up, we'll head over the top, we're almost there now, and uh, let's see what, what awaits us. So I'm now up on the other end of Dunmore Head and the view in front of me is absolutely incredible. There is some great mood within the whole atmosphere here. However, there's not much in regards to light, but there's a lot of wind. Uh, I'll give you a listen here briefly to what the sound from this camera is with the wind right now. So yeah, hopefully this one is better than that. And as you can see here in relation to the wind is blowing against me here, it's quite you know, ferocious. Now what I'm doing here is framing up a shot using all of these more jaggedy rocks that are here on the left as part of the frame. And as the wind is now blowing me, it is insane this wind, but the waves that are breaking below are also insane. So I'm going to continue to grab some shots anyway here. Hopefully you can hear me over this wind, but it is absolutely brilliant. Right, so a moment ago actually Nigel came back here and said this is totally worthless because the wind was relentless and I was in agreement and we were about to head back and then I spotted in the distance that there's a gap in the clouds and now we are getting some light, we're getting some nice light as well on the islands. So I've come back again now to find a different composition and I got one first of all that I wasn't overly happy with because I didn't think that there was much in lines of the foreground. But now I've come down a bit further here and I've got this jagged rock which is acting as a frame on the left hand side to be able to bring the eye back in again over onto the islands and then with the end of Dunmore Head as well. And then on top of that then the light broke. Now I took the shot in portrait, I also took it in landscape. I think I prefer the portrait because there's these straight line rocks that are right below me which work well to be able to lead out into the scene. But I think now as well we might still get a bit luck, I don't know, I'm a bit sheltered here, hopefully you can hear me anyway with this, but I'm a bit sheltered than where I was earlier on, but this wind is absolutely relentless, but that's what I like it and that's what I love it and that's why we're here taking shots. Give me a look at these now and let's see what else happens after this. As far as wind goes, it is incredible. We are getting some really, really strong gusts and it is consistently blowing a gale. Now, we got some nice light there a moment ago and I managed to get a couple of shots, but now looking at the western horizon, there's an even deeper 
darker bank of clouds after coming in so I think all of our light is going to be swallowed up uh, for the end of the evening but nonetheless the sun broke through there very very briefly and I came back to the composition that I had earlier on with that uh, jagged rock on the left hand side blocking out uh, the left hand side of the frame I managed to get that again in both portrait and in excuse me landscape so yeah what an incredible evening here I think it's over anyway but I'll check back in again and tell you if it is or not I'll give you a look at what I'm getting here and in the meantime anyway and yeah I'll talk to you again in a moment Back down to the car now, thankfully, in one piece. That wind was absolutely relentless. And I think I got some nice shots, a uh, nice break of light. Hopefully I had um, the, the right settings and everything dialed in because as Nigel just said there a second ago, it was hard to think. But yeah, Nigel, what do you think? It was tough. It was really nice though. Some amazing light. Yeah, absolutely. Just let's hope we've got some. Yeah, as always, fingers crossed. Maz, you went uh, down to the very end. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm not sure about anything from there. I, it was very messy. Like, I think I got one shot, but not the traditional, so maybe. Maz only has to think about a banger and it turns into a banger. He's a bit like Michael, so yeah. yeah. We'll see. But look, yeah, thank you very much, as always, for joining the episode. I hope you come, enjoy coming along there for Star Magnus and Dingle. It's been um, a pleasure to bring you there. If it's your first time on the channel, please hit the subscribe button, give me a like, give me a comment. If you want to watch another episode, I'd recommend this video here. And until the next time, Schlange Fall.